why should we care about what happens to San Juan? What is the what is the main context of San Juan with respect to the rest of Metro Manila? Well, San Juan is in the geographic center of Metro Manila. Hmm. Kaya rin ma traffic because ano eh, marami sa mga tagaibang lungsod dumadaan sa San Juan to go to other cities. So, if you look at the map of Metro Manila, we are actually right in the middle. Hmm. So uh, once you pass through San Juan. Hmm you actually become part of our traffic. Well, that's why. <laughs> and, then you, and, then, uh, and then you you decide to go to either right. Pasig or Mandaluyong right, right. or uh, Manila. Lahat na mapuway lang niya. Kaya sa city. So, ano yung plano for, for traffic? Huh? Okay. Yes. Well, we will, uh, we will uh, commission a, a professional traffic study. Hmm. Something that I believe should have been done a long time ago. Uh, to to see any yung mga kalye na pwedeng one way in one way out mm -hmm. you know we also have to coordinate with MMDA mm -hmm. kasi lahat na nang nang mabuhay lang talagang sa San Juan dumadaan mm -hmm. <laughs> so we also have to look at uh, yung street parking diba? yeah. street parking yeah. is also a big problem because kabarila na nga yun dahil sa parking it impedes the flow of traffic yung mga lasalista kasi <laughs> Pandalo yung mga Lasal Grinios. Isang, isang problema yung Ortigas because you have uh, Lasal Grinios, you have Savior, you have Ica. Yeah. So, and the mall. And the mall. So, but uh, we, we will uh, closely coordinate with, uh, with the MMDA. And it's also nice that the mayors of uh, the cities contiguous to us are our friends also. So, kaya nakalangan talaga mag-uusap. Eh. Kasi kahit anong gawin mo, kung sa San Juan lang nakafocus yun, di ba? Pagtawid mo lang ng border, gano'n mm. na naman. Kaya nakalangan talaga, it will be a joint effort mm -hmm. among all the cities. But, uh, we, will, we will indeed conduct a full traffic study. We will remove the street parking in, uh, in the Annapolis uh, area of Greenlands because mas skip oh. na ngayon kalye yes, kina parking na po. No, that, that is a commitment I gave Ala, tanga, to, our, ako to our constituents. <laughs> si Ami kasi namimili ng perlas. Sa bira mo, di ba? So you have to have a, you have to strike a good balance between development That's and true. also the collateral damage that uh, this brings uh, uh, okay. to the community. So, it, it's it's basically balancing everything out. Yeah. Di ba pwede buksan yung mga gates <laughs> na mga subdivision? Bested interest mo yan. <laughs> yeah. 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 Seriously, I ask it of Makati. Yeah. I ask yeah. it. It's, it's a legitimate it, question eh. for the whole yeah. of Metro Manila. Mm -hmm. But but we talk about solving traffic. Mm -hmm. But the reality is the gated villages take up so much yeah. space and a lot of logical uh, flow throughs. You look at New Manila, mm -hmm. they never gated New Manila. Mm -hmm. It it works, yeah. but that's a that's a high end, end community. That's true. Sa, sa is, Makati, nila nila mga is, is that is was that? Never, mm -hmm. I mean, I presume that's always that's been something that's been asked also before. Yeah, but uh, the the villages uh, in Green Hills were never really asked to open mm -hmm. the gates to the public. All they were asking was to make sure that uh, there will be no vertical development inside the village. Mm. So, yung mga residents ng Green Hills, naintindihan nila na para maging mas developed yung city, okay lang na magkaroon ng, ng vertical development along Ortigas, along Wilson, wag lang dun sa loob ng villages. For as long as na complied yun sa number of uh, parking slots, uh, complied dun sa mga regulations sa easement, uh, yung San Juan naman kasi, Marami rin kasing exit points eh. Mm. So, since we are in between several cities, marami ka talaga malulusutan mm. in and out. But one one thing that uh, we plan to do is, if you're familiar with the Eisenhower Street, where yes. Club Filipino yes. is, yes. there's actually a dead end there, mm -hmm. which you can open up and it will uh, lead you towards uh, Santolan, uh, mm -hmm. Cam Cram area. Mm -hmm. Oh, sayang, pwede. Pwede yan. buksan yun. Nintingnan namin yun na bu bubuksan, Similar to what you see in uh, Ed sa Rockwell, di ba? Yeah. Meron kang flyover towards yes. sa Rockwell. Mm. So, pwede rin tayo gumawa ng flyover doon sa area na yan. That's My a dead bus. end. That, that can actually really help ease the traffic. Yeah. So, dito rin sa Ortigas, uh, Santolan area, yung border namin with the Quezon City, mm -hmm. uh, that is a main choke point of San Juan. Yeah. So we can actually explore also building a, a flyover just to cross towards para Gilmore. Para mm -hmm. So 
these are these are challenges that I'm now facing. But I'm I'm very excited because God has given me the opportunity to to lead someone in the next three years. Mm -hmm.